Hi and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this letterhead and all the content and save it as a template that can be used over and over again. So let's open a new document and I'm going to start with inserting my logo. Go to insert, pictures, picture from file, select your logo of choice and click insert. Now you can make all of these graphics in your headers and footers so that they will transfer onto following pages or you can just make them in the main document itself. If you do make them in the headers and footers they will be greyed out if you send it as a Word document but very rarely you send a letter as a Word document. So I'm going to show you how to do both. So first of all let's just create the graphics. When you insert this image, you can't move it, so go up to Wrap Text. If it's not there, it's because you haven't selected it and you're not on picture format. Go down to In Front of Text, and now you can move this around and also obviously resize it. Then we're going to go to Insert, Shapes, click on the drop down and select the square, and then click and draw out a rectangle that stretches across your page shape that's inserted there is a border line that runs around the outside which can be changed and customized with colors and thickness but I don't want that border at the moment so I'm going to select it go to shape format and go to this icon here which is the outline and just select no outline then you can go to shape fill select any color you like if you can't see the color you want go to more fill colors here you've got your color wheel brighten and darken slider and then just move this little circle around the color wheel and the color you've selected will be here and then just click OK. I'm going to click cancel because I like this color here and then all I'm going to do is copy and paste this rectangle. Now you can do this by selecting it, going to the home tab, pressing copy, deselecting it and then clicking paste or I find the quickest way to do it is to select it, hold down your Alt or Option key, click and drag, and it will do exactly the same, but just much quicker. So with this rectangle here, I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to go to Shape Format, Shape Fill, and just select a color. Then I'm going to move it. Obviously, this color has gone on top of the other rectangle. So to change that, I'm going to select it. Make sure you're on the Shape Format ribbon. Go to send backwards and click send back and then you can move that up or down as you see fit. Now you can copy and paste this just as we've done before to create another one but if you want to exactly copy these lower two rectangles then all I'm going to do is just delete these two. I'm going to select both of these and in order to do that I need to select one, hold down your command key and select the other one Go to group, click on the drop down and select group. And now I can copy and paste those graphics, deselect them both, reselect this one, then using this rotation tool, rotate it all the way around, and then just simply move it to the top. Then we want to do the footer along here because if you do want to place this in the headers and footers, then you will need the contact details along the bottom. So I'm going to create them at the top because Word likes to jump back up to the top whenever I press the return key. But so I'm going to make them at the top and move them down to the bottom. So I'm just going to zoom in, go to insert, text box, draw text box, click and draw out a text box. Then I'm just going to put in some text which will be my website. Deselect it and as you can see we've got a black borderline and a white background, both of which I want to get rid of. So select the text box, go to this icon here, and select no outline, go to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. Then I'm going to go to the home tab. I'm going to select white text, which is this one here. I'm going to reduce the size of the box. And then in the home tab, I'm going to select center text. Once I've done that, I'm going to hold down my alt or option key, click and drag, and then just do that one more time. So I've got my four pieces of information and then I'm just going to change all of these. Okay, so now I'm going to select them all again, holding down that Alt or Option key. 
So now what I'm going to do is on each box, I'm just going to make it as small as I can, but you notice as I do so, it will knock off the end character. Just pull it back once, and then that will make the box as small as possible. The reason I do this is when it comes to spreading them out equally, there hopefully will be an equal space between all the boxes. So now we can select them all, holding down the Command or Control key, go to Shape Format, go to Align, and here if we select Distribute Horizontally, it will put an equal space between all of the boxes. So if you've got an equal margin for all of the text within the box, then it should have an equal space between everything. Then go to Align again and select Align to Middle. Then go to Group and select Group. So now it's all one group. So now we're going to zoom out, move that to the bottom here, then go to Align and select Align to Centre, which will align it to the centre of your page. Once you're happy, select the, the group at the bottom, hold down the Command or Control key, select the group of rectangles, select the group of rectangles at the top, select your company logo, go to Group and select Group. Now all the graphics are one group. So now what you can do, if you want to put all this in the headers and footers, you can simply copy it, go to the Home tab and select Copy, or you can press Command or Control and C. Then you can delete it, double click at the top of your page, you're now in the headers and footers, and then just press Paste, and now all of those graphics are in the headers and footers. And you can do the reverse of this if you don't like it or you don't want to use it this way to take it out of the headers and footers. So double click in the centre of your page and now if I go to insert page break you can see how it's copied across to both pages and it will continue to do that if you want subsequent pages. The difficulty is you will have the logo on every page, often people don't want that. I do have a video of how you can change headers and footers from the first page to the second page. I'll put that in the description below. And But if you're happy to continue with your logo on every page, then obviously you can use this method. So I'm just going to go back one step, which is Command and Control Z. And I'm actually going to develop this with all of the graphics not in the headers and footers but in the main document. So I'm just going to go back a few steps and now this is in the main document. So now I'm just going to move this up a bit using my arrow keys. Now you can see that your cursor is at the top here so if I start to type in my letter obviously everything's going to move up here. If I press the return key often the graphics will move down as well which is a bit of a pain and you have to start typing here and when you want the dress you can put your cursor here, press the tab key and move it all the way across and start typing but actually I find that there's a much better way of doing this. Again the difficulty is if you want multiple pages although it is easy to copy and paste but I choose to go to insert text box, draw text box and yet again draw out another text box. Then I'm going to insert my text, I'm just going to copy it, I'm sure you don't want to watch me type deselect it, you can see I've got the black border lying around the outside again so I'm just going to get rid of that Go to Shape Format, go to the Outline tool and select No Outline. Now I'm not going to worry too much about the alignment at the moment, I'm going to come back and sort all of that out. I'm going to copy this box again and once again. This one is going to be for the date, so I'm just going to swap out the date. Again just paste it in, just pop it there. And then this one is going to be the main body of my text, I'm just going to stretch that out. And once again I'm just going to copy some text in. So this is the main body of text that I would use in my letter. But I find the great thing about using these text boxes is that you can move them around, you can make your margins bigger or smaller really easily, and you simply click on your text box, go to Align and send Align to Centre, and you can see that will perfectly align your text to the centre of the page. Now often you can look at a letter and think, oh, I need to move it down a bit and it will adjust things or I need to move things across or my margins are a bit wide and it will adjust everything else. I find this is just a really versatile way of using these text boxes. Obviously if you want to copy and paste everything into a second page you can do that by simply selecting this box, copying it and pasting it onto your second page and continuing to type. So with the alignment here, the alignment of the text, if you go to the Home tab, is actually this right align, as is the date here. 
So I'm going to select both of these boxes and the text box itself here with the main body. Go to Shape Format, go to Align and select Align to Right. And that will ensure that all of these are perfectly lined up to the right. Just to note, this text here is actually justified. So if you go to the Home tab, I've actually used this alignment tool here. Often it's aligned to the left, but I've used the justify because I like this nice square look to my text. So once you're happy with your letter, you can save this as a template. Now, some people might not want to save the main body of the text because they'll say, well, I don't, I don't really want to delete it every time I use it. But I find that sometimes it's really quick to just simply click on your text at the bottom here, select it all, and then you literally just start typing your new letter out. But it's completely up to you. You can save this with text in it or without text in it. So now you go to File, Save as Template, then make sure at the top here you've saved it as your letterhead template or whatever you want to call it. Make sure you've selected the templates file down at the bottom here, the word template file, and then simply just click save. Now I'm going to show you where it will be in your templates, but if you can't be bothered to do all of this and you just simply want to download it, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can download this file. Then go to a new document and you can see at the top here, you've got templates. Yours might be slightly different depending on which word program you're using. Go to more templates and at the top here you'll have personal and then if we just scroll down we'll just see letterhead template blue which is the name we assign to our template. You can see it always looks a bit funny regardless of what you've made. The blue hasn't come out so they all look a bit odd in these template thumbnails but don't worry it is there. Just click on that and it will open. You can make any adjustment you like to it but when you come to save it, it will ask you to save it as a brand new document so that you don't adjust the original. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.